You're watching Explore Tulsa. I'm actually not really a food guy, and that's where the business stemmed from. Because my buddy, who is a caterer by trade, uh, about six years ago, I approached him to actually do my meal prep. I was going to get back into the gym. I needed someone to cook my food since I don't cook. And so I approached him to do it for me. And he said no. <laughs> and uh, so I just went back and kind of decided, well, what if I made it a business? Maybe he would say yes. And so I took it back to him as a business and he said yes to it. And so we started out putting meat in Ziploc bags and very, very archaic way of doing it. Uh, it was super simple, but it allowed me to get my food when I was going to the gym. Tried it under a couple different company names, never really gained any momentum, wasn't able to establish ourselves in the Tulsa market at all. Uh, I made some critical errors in marketing and strategy, boxing us into fitness a little bit too much. And so anytime anyone heard anything about fitness meals, they were immediately turned off just because they thought it tasted horrible. It was the, you know, the misconception of what fitness food is and the fact that you know, if it's healthy, it must taste bad. But given my buddy's culinary talents and his skill and ability to be able to make food taste awesome, I just brought the macros, the nutritional guidelines, you know, the non-negotiables as far as nutrition was concerned, and said, how can we make it still taste awesome? And so that was the, the marriage of the two, and that's kind of where it all started. We started the Hungry Ninja March of last year, and our core business is basically to fill the gap in your routine so that it helps uh, you to stay on point. Um, there's bad decisions that you make throughout the week because you don't have time or it's inconvenient, and so we're there to be able to fix those for you, to be able to kind of cover, so to speak, and so moving to the subscription-based format, we feel is gonna be a lot more beneficial because in a way, we're helping them help themselves. Because now it just shows up every week, they don't have to think about it, they don't have to concern themselves with it, and now when they find themselves about ready to make a bad decision, they don't need to because they have that good decision that's sitting there waiting for them. We source all our food locally. We source all of our food fresh. We actually don't get the food for orders until the day before it's delivered. We do all the prepping, all the preparing, all the cooking, and then the day of, we package everything and then send it out for delivery. Our customer base is really anyone who eats, uh, but we have business professionals that are super busy all the time. We have you know, the families that have kids that are in 15 different sports, and so they're just constantly busy. It has a, they have a very hectic lifestyle. We have retired folks who just don't want to cook. They don't want to go to the store. They don't want to have to clean. Uh, single people, very similar situation. They don't want to cook and clean and go through the hassle of all that. So they just want to be able to come home, pull a meal out of the fridge, heat it up and go. And we actually have a four week rotating menu that's on our site. And people have the option to either let us select their meals for them at random based on what we have available, or they can go on each week select those meals that they want, and then they can send them to us either by phone call, text, email, any number of different ways. So we do deliver right to your home or office, and since we are not some big corporation or franchise or a small local company, we're very flexible in the way that we do our delivering. Um, our delivery driver texts within 30 minutes of arrival, but in saying that, we also do several unique things. Um, we will put it in a cooler that they provided with ice packs on their front or back porch. We have garage codes to put in their garage refrigerator. They will, um, through technology, let us into their house and we go put it in their fridge. Sometimes we feed the dog. Uh, we'll leave it with neighbors. There's a lot of different things that we do and we get to know our clients and they get to know us and so we just kind of work around whatever their schedule might be. It's like a white glove style of service that we provide.